I I can't even think to put myself in someone's shoes like that to where that is your almost every day where that sort of thing is happening to you once a week for your entire life. That's just insane to, to think about. It's sickening. And that's why we are upset. And if you would uh, consider yourself a racist, I think Chip to you would say, fuck you and go fuck off. Welcome to the Chip and Cern Show, the podcast about everything and nothing at the same time. They were possibly separated at birth, only to be rejoined to create the sweet sounds that will caress your deepest cochlea. The show is real, random, rant-filled, and ruthless. Please be warned that this show may hurt your feelings, offend your grandma, and even kick your dead dog in the balls. So get ready, and let's get this shit started. This shit has started. I am Chip. I'm Cern. And you are listening to the Chip and Cern Show. Once again, or for the very first time. Yes. Now, once again, speaking of once again, Cerny, support for the Chip and Cern Show is brought to you by Manscaped, the leader in below the belt grooming. Yes. Uh, Manscaped offers precision engineered tools for your family jewels. They obsess over their technology develops uh, developments uh, to provide you the best tools for your grooming experience. So Manscaped and the Chip and Cern Show have teamed up to bring you a cool 20% off plus free shipping. Use code CHIPCERN at manscaped.com just in time for Father's Day so your dad can have the smoothest balls around oh, yeah. for when balls mom tamed. is suckling on them. <laughs> <laughs> or, or your other dad, <laughs> whatever you're doing. Or if dad's just beating, beating himself off, smooth at least off. it feels nice. He's so not going to get like... Uh, what if dad came out and he didn't beat off the night that he, he manscaped and it looked like he dragged his hand, like his the palm of his hand across a, you oh, know, 80 sand grit paper. sandpaper. <laughs> yeah. Dad, did you did you catch your hand on a on a piece of 80 grit when you were doing some finishing work? Oh, no, no, son. I was uh, I was jerking it with some got some ball scruff. Oh, it'll well, be down pretty a, good. A lot more 3.0 will help you out there, dad. <laughs> Yes, it will. <laughs> they have this ceramic blade, patented ceramic blade. Oh, yeah. It's good. It's good stuff. It works great. Um, And it's hot enough now that if you get that package that's on their homepage, and now where it's like it's June, you definitely need some ball deodorant because I don't know about you, Cerny, but, you know, the balls are, are not doing so. Yes, you do. Not doing so great. They are. The fragrance isn't. Uh... It's it, maybe they can dial soupy. it up. Yeah. <laughs> soupy and hang low, sweet chariot. They're hanging low. They're swinging. They need some, some manscaped ball deodorant on them as well. Yes. Maybe a little toner while you're at it. Prison well, out. there we go. We, we paid the bills for another week with that live read there. <laughs> <laughs> on to the real world. Oh, boy. I would say the past uh, week has been uh, the world's, uh, especially the United States, pretty, pretty fucking wild, pretty fucked up place. Uh, yeah, you know what? Uh, actually, it's not even just the United States anymore. I see this protest all over the all over the world. Everyone's doing it. So, if for some reason you have not heard, um, there was another incident of a white police officer choking out and killing a unarmed African-American man in Minneapolis, Minnesota. Yep. And that, as you might imagine, uh, set off quite a bit of a chain of, chain of events. Uh, I think, I mean, this every time this happens, people get very riled up, but I, it feels to me that something's a little bit different this time. How do you I feel guess. about that? I, I do feel, I hope so. I mean, I didn't watch the full video because it was too... I can't, I'm not. It's like, crazy. I saw, I saw some of it because I just seemed to know, but I couldn't finish it. it was yeah, and then the, there will there will always be the people that are kind of trying to. It seems like make excuses on why the cop wasn't. Huh. Well, if why didn't he just stop resisting arrest, or why didn't he just follow instructions? He was in the fucking car, and he pulled him out. And when you. When oxygen is being deprived from your brain, you're probably not thinking very normally. 
you are you send your body into fight or flight <clears throat> mode. So it doesn't over, matter what over color. Fake twenty. Yeah. I mean, oh. Listen. Anyway. I mean, we all know CERN's long-standing history with the police. And <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not exactly Fuck the, the number police. one fan. <laughs> no, and I mean, I think we are lucky enough to be, I guess, you know, privileged enough to not have to worry about things. They get um, fucked with just because. You yeah. Know. Like, you know, you hear these stories from African-Americans every day about, oh, yeah, when I was eight, I was walking down the street to the store and a cop pulled up beside me and my brother and said that um, somebody matching our description had just robbed something and then like fucking hassled them. It's like, yeah, I never had that experience. I've you only know, had it. And it wasn't because of me, because I had a person, a, a, a black person in the car with me while I was driving. I remember we were, we were, we were driving, you know, we were driving in this complex, just pulled into the neighborhood because as we were leaving, yeah, whipped around, started giving us some shit. And I was like, what the hell's wrong with this guy? Like he was like following us. Like he was like at the light on his motorcycle, like flashlight. And I was like, what is this dude doing? And I remember the guy who was with me. He's like, it's because I'm here. And I'm black. And I was like, I remember thinking at the time, I was like, really? I mean, what the f- what are we doing? Like, He's like, it's, it, I'm telling you, dude, I'm telling you. I was like, I don't get, I, I just, it didn't, it didn't register. Yeah. It, it, Cause I was just, it just wasn't part of, you know, and I was like, what the hell? Right. It's not ingrained in you since you were three that your mom told you, be careful when you go out and you always like, you know, and all this stuff. I mean, it's just, I just chalked it up as a guy being a douche, you know, looking for, you know, well, was it in my, it, he was being a douche, but yeah. it wasn't anything, you know, I was just like, what the hell? You right, know? Yeah. 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 <clears throat> And he was like, this guy was like, oh, I swear to you, I swear to you, it's because I'm here. I was like, it doesn't make sense. We're not doing anything. <laughs> you know that. <laughs> I know. And it's, it's wild. And I mean, could you imagine, I, I can't even think to put myself in someone's shoes like that to where that is your almost every day where that sort of thing is happening to you once a week for your entire life. That's just insane to, to think about. Oh, God. It's sickening, and that's why we are upset. And if you would uh, consider yourself a racist, I think Chip to you would say "fuck you" and go fuck off. Um, yeah, that's close. We don't, we don't need. To <laughs> we don't need. We do, we barely have enough listens right now, and we could go without one or two yeah. more. So go fuck. Off. <laughs> Pretty sure if you heard the, the, all the previous uh, episodes, you're probably not listening. Yeah. I don't know if you've heard recently. We're pretty flush with Manscaped money, so uh, <laughs> your internet's fucking up. I know. Oh my god! It's, uh, I got the chip internet. You got? Or you have the Xfinity problems now? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Yeah. Now this is gonna. I know we're uh, man, kind of weird to transition off of the Black Lives Matter, but they do matter. Chip and CERN care, and we're we're trying to do what we can to to help. Uh, be anti-racist and be vocal yeah. about it. And this is our little platform, so this is what we're doing with it. But Cerny brought up a very good point about Comcast. <laughs> like, <laughs> we can't let them off the hook either. Um, funny enough, the person I was chatting with, after I stopped complaining, oh, yeah. poof, gone. Derek well, or whatever his name was? I can't remember. Uh, there was 10. I had oh. like a whole, I had a fucking basketball team working on me, Derek, including the bench. Tom, Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> Tom, every Tom, Dick, and Harry they had there. And, um, you know, oh, the promise of this, we'll, we'll compensate you for your outage and blah, 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 but, but we can't come out and fix it. So now I have to go back and say, hey, my thing still isn't fixed. Did you recharge your router? <laughs> okay. I was like, I wish you were here so I could beat you with it. <laughs> <laughs> I wish you were here so I can cause you pain with this router. <laughs> but uh yeah, you got what what do you have there, Cerny? What you got some real um AT and T uh, situation? AT&T, What's yeah. going on? It's Earthlink, but it's through AT and T. I don't know, it's just today. Oh, been, they're like lease out the thing. Yeah. It's just today. Usually it's been pretty good, but today's a struggle today. It's been like this kind of all day off and on. Interesting. I wish you have the Euros you have the Euro I do thing as well. I would say that's probably one of the slickest app oh, router yeah. situations. What would be really cool is if there was some prioritization you could give, like work computer, mm-hmm. you know, 
whatever. So that way, if if there's only so much bandwidth to go around, you can kind of boot some of these. Like, I don't need my son's camera. Xbox. He's a fucking, he's, I bet you he's getting it. <laughs> using it up. Just go over and just, why would moms <laughs> just pull the fucking cable out of the wall? Well, you know what I did um, with the Xbox? I hooked up to Alexa because you hook him up. Really? So it it was like so you know he he starts yelling at the game, which I mean whatever. But then like oh like just he's come he's on! raging. He's yeah, raging. Raging. Okay. Well, when it's like eleven o'clock at night and I got work the next day, and he starts yelling, Alexa, turn off the Xbox. Boom. <gasps> and then you really hear some yelling, probably. Uh, what? 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 And he like, the first time I did it, he, he just came upstairs. It's like the Xbox is broken. I said, no, it's really. He's like. <laughs> What? what? Why? I said, Shut your who's, who's, show hands. We have to go to work tomorrow. Your ass has been sitting home since fucking March. So. <laughs> what's what's happening with school? Like, are so they learning all, anything? They're all done. <laughs> I mean, yeah, they have to. So what they had to do this time, I guess they're going to be better uh, coming around in, in the fall because it kind of got caught on guard. You know, some of the, some of the, I saw some of these, these fucking pussy parents complaining like, I don't know if the curriculum is strong enough. I was like, everyone kind of got fucking took it right off the chin. So they're kind of right. trying to like, go, you know, play as they go. And, and some of the teachers, they're not exactly like tech savvy. Right. Like Jeffrey's teacher, I think he has kids that are probably her age. So. Oh, no. So they're probably exactly helping like, him set his computer up and stuff. Oh, yeah. I mean, he was <laughs> not running class. He tried. He was, he was all right, but he was. He, I don't think he knew how to use some of the platforms. He had to like, Take a picture oh. of each assignment and turn it in. It was oh, oh no, fuck man! It was like it was a chore for my ass at the end of the week. It was a stack of that little paper. Oh my god! Like two inches. Before. You need yeah. uh you need like a high efficiency scanner. Like I if know. you're at like if you if you owned a law firm, you know they probably have like a really solid printer there. <laughs> Just put oh, it at, on there. At, 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 the office they do. Oh yeah, the you office could've... they have the, the big, you know, the big like waist high. Yeah, it just goes through, you know. So I was like, but I was like, I'm not driving all the way down. Much. No, not for, for your fucking for, homework. It, with that thing, with literally two minutes. Wow, have they? Um... But you know, so so right now, grading wise, they did like if you did, if you completed sixty percent of the assignments, you basically pass fail. What a time to be alive oh, as a kid. I was like, fuck. I was like, you guys have no idea. Now, this would be great for Chip because I would then lower my effort to <laughs> whatever the minimum <laughs> whatever the minimum requirements are. I would lower my effort there. But then someone like my wife who excels and above a 4.0 in high school and stuff, essentially on paper, we're the same student. <laughs> So what I would have done is I would have gamed the system. I would have done like figured out sixty percent of the work, and I would have done it all at the beginning, and then oh, just took the rest can. of the fucking year off. <laughs> That's a great idea. That's, That's a what, great idea. We never had. Uh, now one thing, if I don't know if you are coming out of college or sorry, you're coming out of high school. Why in the ever loving hell would you pay tuition to a four year private university? If it's all going to be virtual, oh, I don't know. You're I right. would be community college all the way. Thank you. Unless you're getting a scholarship or something, but you know who knows. I, mean, I wasn't getting. I wasn't that good at anything. Get a scholarship <clears throat> anyway. Yeah. No. Now, we we could be teaching the class on podcasting, Cerny. Oh yeah. <laughs> Should we? Can we apply? How do you apply to be a teacher? Do we need a credential? I don't well, think I, so, right? We have 10 years experience. That's our <laughs> <laughs> You want to see my credentials? Chipandcernshow.com. <laughs> There's my fucking credential. <laughs> like, sir, this uh, this is dog shit. Like, well, that's 10 a years of dog shit, my friend. So uh, buckle up. Yeah. How many, uh, how many years of podcasting experience do you have? <laughs> that's what I thought. <laughs> well, um, now we hear our, our good friend Stat Boy Dana is returning yes. to work. Is oh, it next right. on Monday? Is it? Yeah, I think the, it, 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 yes, it is. Yeah. On Monday. 
So, uh, yeah, only a few days after the release of this episode, returning to work. Very curious. Have you been watching the COVID? Uh, do, does your city or county like send a status update email every week? Um, yes, they do. So right. we just had two deaths yesterday in Sacramento County. We're up to like 58. Wow. At the moment. Now, you're in Sac County? I thought you would have been like El Dorado or something. Or you're no, just like on we the are coast. like on the border of Sac okay. and El Dorado. So we're at the very top of Sac Because, correct me if I'm wrong, but El Dorado County, I would say, would probably be more along. They're in the camp or they're the type of folks who would be like, oh, recall Newsom and... Uh, all lives matter, and uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, blue, that, blue lives that, and all okay. that stupid. Oh shit, yes, yeah. blue lives, of course. <clears throat> um, so interesting because I would have, I guess Sacramento's a Sac County is probably pretty big. I would think. Yeah, it's it's, it's so huge. we're at the very well north. No, we're east. We're to, we're the very east of it. Okay, it's all the way down to what the uh, Elk Grove. Wow. Uh, all the way up to Antelope. Right, the whole, then it, and then Placer's right next to that because <clears throat> that's real. Okay, that makes sense. Rancho to Thomas, that's all Sacramento. You know what's crazy is that in San Francisco, there's only been like 34 deaths, and it's like the second most populous city in I think so. It's funny. Uh, what the hell was it? We had like, I think in Folsom, we had like, it was like 47 cases or something like that. Yeah. And there's like 80,000 people living there. And it was like 27 deaths. And I was like, I said, I, Oof, I told, I told my wife, I said, I bet you that's a nursing home. Sure enough. I should be, I should be a prophet. Nursing well, home. it's just, uh, it's just basically one person and it just ripped through it. Yeah. And there, <laughs> I think that's been pretty, pretty common, like theme. Most, Ge- very generalization here. Most, some mo- some adults usually do okay if they contract it, but yeah, it's the elderly oh, that yeah. really have the problems, mostly because you know they're kind of on their way out anyway. Yeah, um, the immune system's not exactly yeah. firing on all cylinders. <clears throat> yeah, that's true. And um, well, I guess it's yeah. I was gonna make a very poor joke. Uh, Sweden. <laughs> Sweden actually didn't do any social distancing. Have you read this, what Sweden's been doing or what happened uh, there? They're having some issues now, aren't they? Yeah. So they didn't do any social distancing. They didn't close any, they had no economic impact because they didn't close any businesses. They just pretty much said, we're going to go for the herd immunity thing, Hmm. which they're very far away from still to this day. But basically their elderly population got, got pretty wiped out. Decimated. Yep. Yeah. Well, that's what I mean, ask Italy. Remember, they had a big fucking problem. Oh, yeah. Population double. Well, I mean, not quite. So, pretty crazy. I'm, I'm, schools are kind of starting to open back up, or the preschool is, at least what my daughter can go to. But my wife and I are kind of um, playing that one a little bit cautious. It's like we want to wait, see all the, the first two couple weeks of everything sort of slowly opening back up. And I'm sure you've seen in your area, people are like, oh, it's fucking over, you know, and they just. Yes. Okay. Masks off, game over. Let's 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 go sit down and and you know. I, <sighs> do, do, are you? Does any um, Target require mask t- to go in? Or I know Costco, Costco does. Uh, yeah. Nugget, I think Nugget Market okay. requires masks. Uh, have you been into a place that checks your temperature yet? No, I have. Oh, there was a table sitting outside, and they had probably like fifty of those little kind of paper masks if someone didn't have a mask. Okay. And someone was out there with a thermometer and was like, temperature. And I'm like, oh, shit, okay. Bloop. 98.1 or whatever, right? They did my daughter as well. Or I had my hat on. And I actually got worried because what you told oh. me about <laughs> the hats creating false positives. And I'm like, it's hot too, so I'm probably sweaty. Oh, but shoot. Uh, shoot my neck. Shoot my neck. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, hold on. Rubbing an ice cube on my forehead. And... uh yeah, t- everything was fine. And then I said, well, what's the temperature? Like, if what number would you see that you would say you can't come in? And he's and he said 100.4. And I was like, ooh, that's pretty warm. Yeah, it is. You'd be sweating. Yeah. 
I'm like, I feel if you have a hundred temperature, you're not feeling like you need to go to the sporting goods store though. No, you can't take it easy. <laughs> I'm going yeah. to lay it on the couch. <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> that, that part had me, I'm like, Hmm, like, Oh, I need to go get some rock climbing gear or a tent or something. <laughs> I don't know <laughs> what, what I'm going to do. Uh, if I feel a little under the weather. Oh, you know, this, this fever really has me itching for, uh, some outdoorsy activities. <laughs> I'm going to head down to REI <laughs> and uh, g- get a nice sleeping bag for myself. <sighs> wow. It's, I don't know, some people. So I, I, now I do wonder the people that, and we had these people in Marin as well, uh, on next door, which this is a fucking riot. I, I can't, I've had to like get off social media because there's just so much, negativity and shit that it like it just fucking depresses me i can't i can't do it but um someone was complaining about uh the people of marin or novato were being disciplined essentially for following the rules and having good behavior why can target open up but why can't the mom and pop shops open up which i think on the surface level is probably a decent a decent question to ask right but they don't take it much further than like that surface level to think, well, a massive corporation probably has systems in place to footage. Yeah. To hold those places, the essential items. I get it. Like I said, I, I get it when it's your livelihood. So I, when people totally. are complaining, like, you know, I have a small, okay. I, I understand you're upset because you're not making any money. It's added to it. But nonetheless, you know, I was talking about this with the uh, fat boy and the, uh, and our buddy Jojo, yes, about uh, how you know, Newsom, and I just came out and said, I think Newsom did it, he's doing a good Excellent. job, doing a bang up job. And Dana, Dana said, Yeah, and Joe actually said, and I liked it. He goes, You know what? He's you're a jackass no matter what you do in that situation. And I said, You're right, you're not gonna make anybody, you're not gonna make everybody happy. Someone's gonna have some sort of be if he didn't do anything and left everything open. People start dying, but hey, what the fuck? You know, and then if our, yeah. you close it down, then you have the clouds, you know, open up California. Yeah, cl- shut California, black out California. Bring back Gray Davis. He can fix it. He can black us out. <laughs> <clears throat> that's a that's a real inside inside baseball California joke for some reason. I don't know. Well, what what year is that from? Min- 98? Early 2000? Let me take a look. No, let's. Now we need someone to Google this. So Gray Davis was the governor in between Arnold Schwarzenegger and Dan Wilson, I believe. Right, Cerny? Oh, 2003. 2003. So we were just in high school. But basically, I don't know the whole... Was this kind of... Was it tied into the Enron scandal? Yeah, like he was like selling or he was He was selling or, power or buying power that didn't like, exist, essentially, I, th- yeah, I believe. Yeah, and, and then when they went under, we got wrapped up with it. And then the so rolling basic, blackouts. Oh, that was a fucking oh, nightmare. That was so. And basically, in the summer, were, I believe. Oh, why wouldn't it be in the summer? Because <laughs> fuck everybody. <laughs> so basically, if you you would be at home, and all of a sudden a fucking wave of blackouts would just come and take your city out for an unknown hours, amount of time. Hours. It was like merely like three or four hours at a time. Just Dude, P- PG and E's been doing that to us up here in Marin because of the fires. Mm. And they're, and so you know the 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 citizens have to pay the price for PG&E's mismanagement of mm-hmm. uh, trimming trees and and proper f- care of of their systems. Uh, you know they're paying customers who they still charge us for those. You know, huge rates. Still... So part <sighs> of it sounds insane, and maybe I am insane, but part of why we live in Balsam and not was because I because we looked at some houses that were in PG E zone and I yeah. remember asking the realtors like is this PG E zone? They said no. I said I will not this is before they did this, but I said I will not I'm not live in PG. Wow. And he like was... me like I said I'm not gonna do it. I know that they charge rates and they jack at people. So my dad warned me and I, I like I looked into it and there and I said I will not live anywhere with PG E. I mean we have their gas. And even then I've you know, they charged me a hundred dollars for gas. We have the fucking stove. That's all we run. Everything else is electric. I was like fuck you. You're like, what oh. do I look like, fucking Gordon Ramsay? Oh, excuse me, excuse me. We we have the heating unit upstairs, so in the okay. winter. But I was like, so I sent them an email when they tried. No, it was like, sorry, excuse me. 
it was like $200 for gas. Those two items, gas stove and then the, the heating and the furnace. So I remember sending him an email and he goes, well, we recommend you keep your house at 55 degrees. I said, fuck you, 55? 55? No rebuttal. That's... No rebuttal. I just said, because I said, fuck you, 55? I said, what? This is like, that's like a meat locker, dude. It's like a meat locker. Recommend you 55. Sure. Sure. So 65. Sure, maybe in the maybe. summer I'll just kill my electricity. I won't run the AC. I'll, I'll keep it at, at uh, 95. I'll 90, say yeah, 93 to 95. I did that. <laughs> we, want fucking, we want fucking tit sweat dropping off you, and then maybe you can think about doing it. I live that. The AC went out. That was brutal. They're just now. I I'm not sure of the best way to handle this because, you know, these people on the phone, the guy that's sending you the email, he's just doing his job, right? He just is following his script that says, yeah. "I have to say, hey, yeah, Mister Cerny, why don't you keep your thing at barely above freezing?" You know where you don't need to necessarily keep your turkey burgers in the freezer. You could just keep them on the counter and they'd be fine. He has to say that, you know, but <clears throat> I recommend that you purchase some blankets, right? <laughs> uh, have you invested in a, a thick sweatshirt or some, <laughs> or some nice moccasins, <laughs> some fur lined slippers, sir. Oh shit. Might I recommend a scarf for the lady? <laughs> <laughs> oh, so, they they work for this evil company, and this is this. It could be PG and E, it could be Wells Fargo, it could be Chevron, she, you name AT&T. it. Comcast, AT and T, any Fortune 500 company has these, uh, you know, sheep sheeple working mm-hmm. for them. So they they're taking money, and I understand it's a job, but I don't. I I usually lash out, followed by a a nice cool apology. I know it's not your fault, but fuck you. But I know it's not your fault. I'm sorry that I got upset with you. I usually, I usually <laughs> That's do. What I, do. I know it's not you, and you're just the person who's answering the phone. So yeah, but they're the front lines, though. Take, take, just don't take this person. <laughs> yeah. Now, usually, if if I have someone that gives me attitude, then. No, I will not stand for that. No, no, nope. absolutely nope. not. Ask this poor person, AT and T, uh, where I don't know if I told the story before. Um, my card was compromised, so then. So I, your bill didn't get paid, right? One month because they try to auto charge it or something. Yeah, and it was just a day. I got the you forget every single thing that it's you know. A time because right, that's how cards are these days. It's like. Oh yeah, did we get all the auto pays? I, I went through them? it. There's a million I, of them. I went through them and I was like, I think so. And then I got the email saying, "Hey, we couldn't charge it." Oh, okay. So it was like the morning they sent it to us. Oh, okay. So I updated it, and they said we're going to charge you a ten dollar late fee. And I said, mm, no. So I called them and I said, "Hey, this is what happened. You know, my no. car was compromised. I changed it out." They said, "I don't." Yeah, accept. but <laughs> it, it was late. I said, "Okay, but I mean, we're talking a matter of hours. It's not like I." Skip town. I said, no, I mean, You're not I trying said, to dodge this bill. Yeah. And then the lady goes, It's $10. I said, It's the principle exactly. of the matter. I don't want to give you 10 extra dollars. And it's just for a simple mistake. She goes, Well, if you can't afford it, then let me know. And I can split it into two payments. And I was like, hmm. cool. So this is how it's going to be. She goes, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what you're wow. talking about. I said, Well, can you put me to a manager? She goes, I'd like to help you. I said, Clearly, you don't have the authority or uh, the, the wherewithal or wherewithal. maybe the importance <laughs> to help me. So pass me on to somebody who can. She's like, oh. I said, yep, yep. Oh, remember how you made it, bitch? Yep. Okay. Now you it's, get. <laughs> you make your bed, so you're going to lie it right now. It's $10, and I would be like, okay. Oh, looks like your market cap is $12 billion. <laughs> Do you really need $10? Go fuck yourself. Are you collecting the commission on this? I mean, right. fuck you. How much are they paying you to collect this $10? <laughs> What's your like recoup percentage? Thirty <laughs> percent? Is this an hour of working for you? Because uh, this is not okay. This, I, I went, oh, I was like, I was just like, what she what she said. You can't afford it. The Dude, I can that... split it between two payments of five dollars. I was like, oh, okay. This is how it's gonna be. <laughs> oh. That would have been. I had Steve coming out of here like, oh, okay. oh my god. If someone said that, I, that would be. I just didn't. I didn't. I didn't raise my voice. I just said, oh, huh. oh, you're gonna be wise ass. Noted. 
uh, being a little cuntish. Noted. 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 So now I'm going to be a dick. <laughs> wow. Five dollars. <laughs> I was like, oh come on. I mean, I was I was just saying because she said it's ten dollars. Like, it's a principal thing. I don't want to give you ten dollars for just something stupid. And it's for... not like your car got declined. <laughs> yeah, it, it, got it, it got fucking yeah. It's like uh, it got lost. I had to. It was earlier. In, it was it was earlier in that month. Whatever it was, I was apparently I was going to go on a carnival cruise in Florida. Yeah, I got the thing. I was like, hmm, I'm not going on a cruise. I don't know why I have a charge. <laughs> oh no. Yeah. So, so then was I it a good deal? Maybe you could have taken advantage of it. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, so, actually, this cruise sounds kind of nice. <laughs> where are you sending these tickets? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. How does that work with the scammers? I don't know like um so this new one was with uh, have you been getting the texts lately oh yeah well which ones like i got someone at like 5 a.m was like yeah can you having problem You're, keeping it hard i got some pills for you and i was like That's... yeah at 5 a.m i do yeah <laughs> right because my fucking dick is sleeping so why don't or, uh, Their conversion rate has to be really poor on that. I, I would think it's just kind of weird. Where it's like, uh, it's hey, that weird time. sexy stud, I'm I'm just down the block. Give me a click the link to get my address. I was like, okay. So it costs them. Let's just say it costs them a dollar to send what, like a thousand text messages. And yeah. I wonder how much if ten people click that link, like how many, how much ad revenue do they make? by all those ads on those crazy fucking spam pages. Maybe it's, that's it, it. It's gotta be profitable at some point. They keep doing it. Right. Cause if it didn't make business sense, we'll just you would hope on. they would just, you know, not I, do it. I forget. I get, I get a few. I got one the other day. I can't remember what it was. Oh, and then it confuses me because somebody that I know that lives in my neighborhood, he texts me. Why well, didn't have his number? I'm pretty bad about saving some other people's numbers. Oh yeah. And he said, "Hey, I I saw the other day. Sorry, I was being a, a jerk and didn't wave. And I don't remember seeing anybody because I was in my own zone anyway. So I ignored mm-hmm. it. Well, then he actually ended up texting my wife. He's like, "Hey, I don't hope she was mad at me. I texted him. He never replied. <gasps> when I was like, "Oh, I thought he was a spammer. Like, you know, you know, I saw you the other day. Yeah, I was being a jerk. And I was like, because it was just at the same time I was getting all the like, the, hey, come right, down the right, street. Right. I'll blow you for." for free or whatever, you know. Well, hold on. For me, that one, Cerny? Um, <laughs> uh, do you ever get the one where it's a group chat of people oh, and, and you know about like, half of them and then half of them are numbers that you don't see and you're just trying to play along like, I'm just like a wolf in sheep's clothing here. I'm just like, <laughs> hey, everybody, how's it going? Chipper's here. <laughs> I get the one where everyone starts te- texting stop. <laughs> oh really? That's pretty good. That was in a group message. Was like, uh, put uh, put some decal on your car for for money. And it was like, for like, it was like, stop, stop. Like all these numbers started texting stop. I was like, oh, dude. oh my god, you idiots. Yeah, I usually will have to sidebar one of my friends and say, okay, like who are the, who else is in here, so I know what not to say if I'm going to talk shit about somebody. <laughs> Got to be careful. Never be too careful these days. Oh man. Um when uh what's any new uh things things opening up in, in your county over there? Like what's the what's the status? Um you can go into all the stores, or there's only the curbside pickup and stuff. Um you could uh some I think you can go into the stores. Um some are I think they just opened up like as of recording or like like yesterday. Oh, right, because June just ticked over. Yeah. So we're Sacramento, so we're pretty strict. Yeah, same strict with the, the Bay Area. Obviously not as Los Angeles or near the Bay Area, but it's pretty – it's right in line with – with, And with California else. is way more strict than any other state, which I think, as, as we mentioned is earlier, is like – obviously lives were saved by being as, as strict as yeah. we are. Um, you know, I like is I get uh, – you get the fucking stupid ass posts with like a picture of like a hospital like waiting room. It's like this is what it looks like. It's empty and and uh, uh, Gavin Newsom won't even you know like 
it's empty because of what we're doing, you fucking idiots. Or the people <clears throat> I've gotten, I've seen this one come through on that uh, about lives being saved. Well, that's inaccurate because you're not counting for all the people who will be dying of starvation because both their parents lost their jobs. Oh. And I'm like, that's the biggest fucking straw man argument I've ever heard. But two, that's way. doesn't that mean we should have better social programs in place to help people who are down on their luck? Yeah, that's fucked hard. Yeah, yeah, they're the same ones that are like welfare is for people that are lazy. Freeloaders. <laughs> they're just uh. lazy. Oh man, you shouldn't be making more money on unemployment than at your job. Well, that means your job's a piece of shit for paying you so little. <laughs> and maybe the minimum wage should be higher, you fucking idiot. Yeah, I know. That's the same. I, I love those. God, they're, I mean, they're our school has a program. Like they were texting me basically every day or whatever days. Like they have, they give out even during the closures. They say, "Hey, we're giving out free lunch. Come by and pick it up if you want." You know, for anybody. That's amazing. great. Yeah. So that was that was pretty cool, but where was that at? It. The the school the oh that's nice because I mean legitimately and you know this sort of brings it back full circle. There are people that that is where they get their food mm-hmm. is school, and if school's not in session for summer, they might not be getting all three meals a day. And mm-hmm. this is America, allegedly the greatest country on earth, yeah, and people who live here in not fucking rural areas in a city, Folsom, the Bay Area, wherever, can't get three fucking meals a day. That's sure, a fucking yeah. problem. Yeah. It's, it's, it's fucking crazy. And I don't know why people get so upset about wanting to take care of that. Uh, I don't know either. I can't figure it out. Or it's like, I hear the, you hear the argument like, uh, well, if you can't feed your kids, you shouldn't have kids. I'm like, okay, but they, let's just say they did. So it should, should the child be punished because the parents can't do whatever it is? I mean, there could be a problem, too. You don't know the whole parameters of what entails that household. So, And maybe if uh, birth control was more accessible and free for women and men, they could exercise yeah. fucking family planning, you dumb fuck. God damn. <laughs> I'm fucking pissed now. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's the, it's the same. Anyway, it's it's the same. It's the flimsy. same guys. It's the Everything's same guys. flimsy. But that's uh, you know the whole pro life and not pro choice. But now it's pro choice when they want to go out and you can't tell me to wear a mask and not wear a mask. It's my body. I could do what I want. Like, wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> what? Yeah. Oh, dude. That's almost some of the some of their comments are so. When I say good, I mean like so ironically powerful. They, they don't even realize it. it. They're so dumb. They don't even realize how ironic and hypocritical they're being. So, uh, so Papa Cern was was launching some, you know, just defending the sure, <laughs> defending the honor. And there was a fireman, and he had a shirt on that says "I hate socialism." My dad's like, "This is the most ironic thing I've ever seen in my life." The person's like, "How do you mean?" It's like, "The oh. fuck pays your paycheck." Literally taxes you, dumb fuck. <laughs> Fucking fireman. Down with socialism, right? Hate socialism. But I was like, what the fuck? This is the most ironic thing I've seen all day. How do you mean? He's like, who the fuck pays you? I do I do enjoy following your dad just because he he's not afraid of a little bit of a Facebook battle with anybody. And he is uh super condescending when he speaks to people. Perhaps oh, you yeah. should open up an eighth grade history book. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh no. He I mean he <laughs> He, he's very be- belittling. <laughs> oh belittling, yeah, which is great. I love. I I mean he I wouldn't he doesn't do that to people like personally. I would say no, unless he's trying to make a joke. Like I have hung out with him many times and I've not been belittled in that manner. And I I don't suspect that you have either. But when he's trying to fucking stick it to somebody on the internet. It's, Goddamn, stay out of that way. <laughs> stay out of the fucking... Yeah, gonna, stay out of that way. He's on full horse and he is going for it. <laughs> somebody, somebody wrote... Uh, I saw him... Uh, you know, which is just, I saw it today. I mean, it would giggle. Um, somebody... Some, some lady, some girl posted something about um, 9-11 was worse than slavery because... Um, you know, more people died in 9/11 than in slavery. 
so there some of these people are traded. My dad's like, I see you're that, from Tennessee. Is that one of the states that erased slavery from their from their uh, history books? Crickets. <laughs> I was like, oh. I mean, that is that was the stupidest thing. And I saw it. I was like, what? That is and like, that like is it popped cool. up, and I was like, why am I saying? It's like, oh, I see someone. Like, oh, <laughs> oh, why yeah. am I seeing this? Yes. <clears throat> oh, I see. Uh, Dad has taken to another Facebook comment battle <laughs> with with a simpleton from uh, the Midwest. Well, I asked him. I said, "How do you? How do you, do find, you find this, this shit?" Yeah. He's like, "I don't know. It just pops up my on my computer. I don't know. It just happens." Uh, <laughs> Facebook knows that that he's he's into that sort of thing. I think. I think so. He just it just pops up, and I I can't let stupidity just he sit out resist. there unchecked. <laughs> like, now no. you know him better than anybody. Is he just sitting at home on his phone, or does he have his laptop? I know that big chair that he normally sits at at your house. Is he still <laughs> sitting there on no, his laptop, fucking he, keyboard cowboy in it, or what? Yep, yep, you know, keyboard cowboy. Yeah, <laughs> he puts his headphones in, so he listens to music and just battles. And just and your mom is just watching TV or doing something yep. else. <laughs> so I'll call him sometimes. I ask him a question. I'm like, and he doesn't answer. And then my mom will answer or call me back. It's like, hold oh. on, he's in his, he's got, he's got his headphones on. He's on the fucking computer. Yep. Oh, mercy. That is great. Well, Cerny, I think if we talk about Tiger King, this entire episode will just be quarantine summed up in one crazy fucking episode. I heard, did you hear that Carol Baskin has taken possession (laughs) of fucking Joe Exotic's yeah, so I guess remember, I guess in the show, remember when he transferred the zoo to his mom's name, so when she couldn't get the zoo, oh, when, no. when Carol Masters was suing him. Yeah. So I guess it was never legal. So now that opens up to she's entitled to that property. It was never legal transfer between Joey Exotic and his mom. Oh. How do you so. think? How do you think he feels like that? He's probably he probably can't be too happy. I wouldn't. I wouldn't think that Joe Exotic's going to be happy about that. Carol Baskin, goddamn sure you know doing his whole speech. <laughs> oh, well, I made the mistake of trying to open a web page on my fucking computer with Comcast Internet, so we, you know, we got. Some uh, I was wondering. I was like, "You're cutting out." I was like, "Is it me?" God damn. So Carol Baskin was awarded the zoo once owned by Joe Exotic. Let me see here. The judge ruled in favor of Baskin's Big Cat Rescue Corporation Monday. <laughs> and uh, let's see, 16 acres in Gavin County, Oklahoma. It's home uh, to the animal park. Oh, everybody must vacate the zoo in 120 days. Oh. Wait, Big uh, that also means removal of all zoo animals from the zoo land. Interesting. I, I can see those fucks just letting them go. <laughs> just oh. over the cages. Dude, that would be fucking. Who's that? Who's the dude running it now that wears all Derek, the affliction? Derek. No, not Derek. Well, that's a pitcher. Yeah. Jeff Lowe. Jeff, Jeff Lowe. Lowe. Derek Lowe's the boss of Red Sox pitcher. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Jeff Lowe, the douche with the fucking bandana. And the yeah, he looks choice. like he. Uh, a uh, frequenter of downtown Roseville nightclubs. Yep. To I mean, to a T. There's no better. You oh. fucking tell me that's not a hundred percent accurate. Hundred percent. No he one. probably has that stupid cheap smelling cologne that those oh, like, she's always wore. Yeah. <laughs> um, <clears throat> I saw that uh, at the wedding. He wore like he even wore his little do rag thing <laughs> because he he doesn't have any hair, right? <laughs> like he's bald or something. He's got some Brett Michaels situation going on or whatever, right? No. Nah. Dude, what are they gonna do with these uh all these tigers, man? Yeah, he's just shaving. Yeah. I was wondering about that. Like, is is uh Doc Antle gonna swoop him up? <laughs> Save the day, the soul patch yeah, th- and his six mistresses. Th- yeah. Oh yeah. All right. At five tigers per every wife. Uh, have six wives, so there's 30 tigers. So, okay. Now, what are we doing with the gators? Um, <laughs> I thought he got busted for something. 
think it was like euthanizing tigers, but that wasn't set. Oh, that's they're, right. They're gonna, they're gonna, they're oh, he, did he turn an states? Investigation or whatever it was. That's right. That's right. There were so many loose ends when that documentary ended. I feel like, um, what did you think of the Joel McHale follow up from his kind of bed? Weird, like he was like doing in his bed. I mean, I like Joel McHale. I think he's funny, but yeah, oh, that's kind of weird. And then it was just like an interview with, you know, and like of course Jeff Lowe is going to talk like he didn't do, you know. Oh, I did nothing wrong. Yeah, crazy, <clears throat> crazy, crazy, crazy. Well, Cerny, I don't think we should chance this. Uh, our Comcast internet and your AT and T internet any longer? No, nope. the the Zoom gods are not with us this evening, but um, the gods of having hairless balls are, and yeah. our friends over at Manscaped have have granted the Chip and Cern show a twenty percent off coupon plus free shipping. So be sure to use code Chip Cern for all your below the belt grooming needs at Manscaped.com. Very good, Cerny. Well, like we always say. Don't forget to wash your hands. Obviously, be washing your genitals. And, you know, wear a mask. And until next time, I'm Chip. I'm Sir. Cheers.